PeteTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools. Awesome to see you here again today. Hey, I was uh, cruising through some ads the other day online and I seen this ad for this new non-touch plasma cutter. I thought, holy moly, I found a new plasma cutter that I can have a look at. Anyway, I uh, had a look at it and this is what I found out. Remember guys, you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment and uh, let's get into this video, eh? Hee <laughs> hee! Anyway guys, I went all excited and I went to have a look at this non-touch plasma cutter and I found out it was just uh, like my plasma cutter, uh, non-touch plasma cutter. It just means that you don't touch it on the steel. And then I got to thinking, you know, a lot of you fellas are new to this sort of stuff and you don't know what the non-touch is or you don't know what a pilot arc is, you don't know what a non-pilot arc is, you don't know what an HF is. So uh, I thought I'd do this quick video for you uh, new fellas to my channel just to show you what's what and what's not and plasma cutter and what you should buy and what you shouldn't buy depending on what you, what you want to use it for. Anyway guys, let's get into this crap. So guys, basically a non-touch plasma cutter runs a non-touch plasma cutting torch which is just the pilot arc torch which is what I found out. I got all excited about this new model of plasma cutter that didn't exist. But anyway, and then I thought, well, you fellas are going to even be more confused than me, so I thought I'd just do this little video to show you. So basically, this is a non-touch pilot arc plasma torch. And now I see they're calling the machines non-touch machines. I don't know why they're doing that. And they're also calling the other ones, the ones that you have to touch, touch machines, which seems pretty strange to me. But anyway, you know what it's like, pretty strange anyway. So nothing surprises me anymore. So anyway, guys. Like I say, this is a non-touch plasma torch, and on this, the connections are as follows. See, we've got our little 16mm here that is for our airline that plugs into the machine. We've got our little one here for the switch. That's your on-off switch on the torch here. Like that is your on-off switch. And then we've got this one here, which is your uh, non-touch lead or your pilot arc lead that goes onto your machine. Now, where people get confused is some of them try and run this sort of torch on a non-pilot arc machine because you have to have the, the three connectors here, guys. You know, the one, two, three, like I'm showing you, one, two, three connectors to run the true pilot arc system or the true non-touch system on your uh, on your plasma torch. Now I'll show you the, I'll show you the machine. Here, have a look at the machine here. Hey guys, you see this one here where the circle is and the arrow, that's where the extra wire goes on. So you've got your extra wire there, your switch, and then your 16mm plug. And now I'll show you a non-pilot arc machine or a non-non-touch machine. See guys, this looks virtually the same, but it hasn't got the space for the extra wire down there. You see the difference there, guys? So this torch here is for a, a touch machine or a non-pilot arc machine, whatever you like to call it. Once again, it has the same fittings. It has your little 16mm here for your ear. And it has your little um, thing here for your switch, your on-off switch on your torch, like so. But it hasn't got that green wire, or maybe a red wire, it depends what torch you're using. But it hasn't got that extra wire that gives you the uh, the non-touch capability or the pilot art capability. Depends which school you went to, I reckon this non-touch thing is nonsense. But anyway, you know me. <laughs> Guys, I'll give you a demonstration of the two different sorts of, sorts of torches and you can decide which one's best for you. Right yeah, guys, so let's start with the old touch torch, as they're calling them there, or a non-pilot arc torch. Now this is a good little torch, I like these torches. If you want to know any more about the uh, non-pilot arc or the pilot arc stuff, I'll drop a whole lot of links in the uh, description below, and there's a whole lot of things about how to convert your machine and doing all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff with these torches. But uh, yeah, this is just for you and you guys, really. Now the only thing with these is when you're starting on a painted surface or something like this, they're, they're quite hard to start. And you normally have to get an angle grinder or you have to get a piece of metal that's already been um, stripped, the, the paint stripped off it for, to get the thing to start cutting. Anyway, I'll show you. See that guys, it doesn't really start because the metal hasn't been cleaned up properly first. So I'll show you how, uh, how easy it is to start once you clean the metal up a little bit and just get it going. This is a non-pilot arc torch guys. All we do with this guys, just get the angle grinder and just take a little bit of the paint off. That's all you need, just a little bit like that, just to get you started. And uh, yeah, then that torch will fire up good. So if we grab our touch torch, or our non-pilot arc torch guys, and this is the bit that I just did with the grinder there, you watch how easy it is to start there. We are going through the paint now. Once you get it started. Piece of cake, see that? Straight through. 
You don't cut the table underneath it as well, Pete. <laughs> yeah, that's, I tried to cut the table underneath that, guys. <laughs> so, guys, this is a non-touch pilot arc torch, is what they seem to be calling them now. A nonsense torch, but anyway. So it's a non-touch pilot arc torch, that's what it is, guys. And when you push the button on this one, you get a flame, see, like that, that shoots out of there. So uh, the advantage of this one is that you don't have to clean off the paint or the rust or whatever you're cutting. Not like the uh, the non-pilot art one that I showed you before. So I'll show you this one, guys. See this? It's a quite thick paint here. You watch. See that? They just blew straight through that. No worries at all. And I didn't have to clean up anything first. And you might be saying to yourself, well, Pete, what the hell's the point of that? I can just clean that off with an angle grinder or whatever, and you can. That's totally true. But if you're working under your car or you're working somewhere where you can't get an angle grinder in to clean it up, or you're working on rusty steel, steel on tracks of like loaders or diggers or something like that, then uh, the other one can be a right pain in the bottom. <laughs> so I just prefer to use this. So guys, remember the difference. This is a non-touch torch. And you can cut through paint and that sort of thing with it. And this one here, guys, is the touch torch or the non-pilot arc torch. When you push the button on this, you get the air, but you don't get the flame coming out of it. So, uh, yeah, that's the difference, really. You push the button on this one, you get air, no flame. You push the button on the other one, you get um, air and flame. So, guys, that's the non-touch and the touch pilot arc and non-pilot arc torches for what it's worth. So, uh, a lot of you new fellas, you know, it might just help you a little bit when you go and decide what you want to buy. But remember to check the links down below, I've got all sorts of videos about pilot art, non-pilot art, how to convert your torches and what you can do and all sorts of other bits and pieces. Oh guys, and don't forget to go and check out my uh, website, pitchtools.com, and uh, remember to like or subscribe to my videos, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.